Blake and I, hey Blake, how are you, man? Good to talk to you again. Uh, of course, he's the CEO and founder of Janover Inc., hence the name Janover, J-N-V-R. Blake, were you a fan of Godfather? Uh, it's one of the greats. I'm not, I don't know if I generally appreciate the, the Fredo segue into me, but uh, <laughs> the assassination on the lake I was, was gonna, one I was, of the best scenes ever. I was yep. going to do the Michael, ja My, Michael Jordan uh, uh, documentary um, instead. Listen, you were one of my favorite people. We met you a couple weeks ago. We had uh, a conversation about an AI-enabled platform that powers faster, smarter commercial transactions. Let's talk about that because we're in a world now, imagine a world. Mm -hmm. we're, we're in a world now where I think um, I, have the, I have the same 40 bucks in my wallet I've had, you know, for the last two years. We're already in a, a digital currency market, but, but also transactional business is the key here for, for customer service, inc including retail, wholesale, and other transactions. I want you to talk about how AI comes into it, because I saw an article about me the other day in Financial Times. came out. Uh, Bob Sully Sullivan resides in... Uh, in uh, Taos, New Mexico, with his lovely wife Lisa and their two children. I read that. Chat oh. GPT is about eighty percent okay. Yeah. Okay. How are they doing, by the way? And 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 <laughs> the point is, is they're 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 writing. And I and I know this comes to AI. I want to be able to depend on AI for everything, including this transactional stuff. Walk us through that for me. Look, AI has application through the entire process, and the process is faulty. Uh, wildly so, since there's 10,000 banks, credit unions, uh, thousands of other lenders that all have different products. It's not like a residential mortgage that, that, that fits right in a box. These things are ha have a million features. So AI uh, can do a lot. The first thing it can do is interface with borrowers and lenders, asking questions, providing feedback, instant customer service, going through complex problems and solving them instantaneously instead of having to wait for a call or for an analyst to talk to the managing director, to talk to the boss, to come back to the director. So problems get solved instantly. Uh, documents get reviewed right away. And AI is also amazing at making decisions now if you give it a framework within which to work. So the humans are responsible for providing the framework, doing the QA, uh, monitoring the conversations and decisioning. But the recommendations happen instantaneously with AI. Uh, Somebody asked how chat... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead, but you, 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 you can take the floor. But, 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 <laughs> well, I have the floor. I'm very famous. Um, let me tell you why I love this. Because... If you, th I love the word fintech, because there's no financial literacy in high schools or colleges, none whatsoever. Not anymore. We are depending on. I mean, I, I don't know if I could remember how to write a check. I'm mean, honest to God. I, I must like to write a check, you know. Uh, um, I, I, I'll the, Venmo you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, um, I can't remember this last time I went to an ATM. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's you know this fintech is taking over all of our transactions. I know we want to talk about blockchain, we want to talk about crypto, but honest to goodness, zip zip. Or, excuse me, here's the latest. Yeah. Uh, boom, 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 boom. The fintech part of this thing, which is I'm going to say is a backbone, okay? And, 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 and as you guys say, one in 10 banks um, understand uh, Jennifer's fintech marketplace. Use our platform on our platform, I know. one well, in 10 FDIC banks. So if you talk about connecting borrowers with the right financial products, you've now just uh, conquered, went like, this is like when Quicken decided to say, do your taxes online. I'm going to take you through this next page. Next time, five minutes later, your taxes are done. You're doing the same thing. I want yes. to know about adoptability because this seems too good to be true. And do we have the infrastructure? And do we have the political will, uh, or, or I guess the, the consumer will, <laughs> to use it? Because I, I mean, it's, it makes it makes all the sense in the world. In a world where we're not going to cure the lack of financial literacy, we're not going to cure the fact that if somebody says to me, and I'm generally recognized as a pretty big expert in business. I couldn't do a PL that fast. I got to call Jane up to do it, right? We just don't know this stuff. Talk about that because you are making the on ramp and off ramp for borrowers. For sure. So, so the platform is there, it exists, it's functioning, uh, we can scale. We did the most critical thing last year, which was in our pre existing fintech platform, was get all these lenders onboarded. I think the number is 8% of the FDIC insured banks in America, and it was something like 35% of the top 100 credit unions. So now that we have liquidity on the supply side of the marketplace, uh, borrowers can come in flow through our portal, uh, get matched with the right advisors on our team, the right lenders, and the right loan products. This, in, in the way we've built it, has never been available before. Also, not highly relevant, but I tend, my, my wife is sending me to the ATM all the time, so I don't know how you're uh, out of that. <laughs> <laughs> she, hey, Blake, just a safety tip. Is she asking for ones? 
Because I'm just saying, cause, <laughs> hey, honey, I'll be, I got lunch with the girls later. I just need a little. Uh, she is my, not. My question <laughs> for you is, you, you mentioned liquidity. And that's, I, and, and I know that you are creating liquidity um, that is desperately needed in the market. How does this create liquidity? I, I want to put, I want to, I want to connect those dots. Yeah, so when you think about it now, if I am building an apartment building, buying an office plaza, refinancing an industrial plaza, my market for getting my loan is the lender that I'm going to or the broker that's talking to his three lender buddies. Uh, liquidity is like the NASDAQ where we trade. If you sell a share of JNVR stock, and I hope you don't, uh, there is a market there that captures it instantaneously. So we're trying to build that level of liquidity into the lender market. And so, one of the ways we're doing that is by aggregating as many banks, credit unions, commercial real estate lenders, REITs, life insurance companies, debt funds, et cetera, to get their products on our platform. So that when a borrower comes on and says, I want a deal, the deals are there and the best deal wins. High speed, low drag. I, I will tell you this. We've all talked to, uh, like Ben Harris from, from Rival. Yep. And we talk about the, the, the fact that we're going to this. Nice guy. And one of our closest friends has been in the studio a long time. So Ben says, you know, we're going to this world where it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. We're going to use this, this on-ramp to digital currency um, blockchain. I got to tell you, Blake, that um, what you've done here, because it's all about adoption, right? I mean, I, I would argue we've been in digital currency for 20 years. I can't you know, look at my bank statement. It's just a freaking number, right? I mean, you know, you're not rolling around the money on the yep. freaking kitchen table. What you're talking about here is so much more digestible to most of the country. Like, you know what? My mom's still sending me on her AOL.com email. Those emails we have to scroll down to China yep. to get to the original thing. And there's like a cat hanging off it and it says, hang in there, yep. right? I mean, could you imagine the addressable market of age, you know, 65 and up, which still are part of your, part of your uh, consumer base. I think, I think what you've done is you made it more um, relatable than for us to take the jump over to crypto. Right and, and 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 blockchain, it's a natural progression. I th and I think you're at the right place at the right time. I, I just want to say, and I agree with you completely. At, at the end of the day, fintech is about reducing frictions. So anywhere where you make the process a little easier, a little better, a little faster, a little more affordable, a little more transparent, you're reducing frictions and you're improving the environment for lenders and borrowers and and and, and the global economy. So that's what we're doing, and we're going to keep doing it. You're re reducing friction. Can me and Mary get a copy of the software? Here's um. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of friction. Over there. Well, just last night it was. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, I'm this <laughs> I'm that was that was fine. Blake, you got to come to San Diego. Yeah, no kidding. I went to San Diego, but not on a Anytime. Tuesday. Tuesday's taco night. Wednesday's ladies' night. Come to Thursday. It's hard liquor and handgun night. Come with us, Blake Janover, founder and CEO Janover and J and You're going to hear a lot from him. I wanted to come to town because Thank you so much. I got to tell you, does it sound less threatening than we're just going to jump over to? Uh, Blockchain. Yep. Their yep. motto is because, be. because it's an open source. What the hell does that mean? I want to really like push a button like he says. Yeah. Borrower, lender, fix and free. Dang. Not fast. Yeah. It's more not scary. Lots yeah. of options. Hi, we're Jan over. More not scary. More not scary.